Fresh from the prolonged salary break, the ministers trooped into the council chambers for the last federal executive council meeting in the month of June. The meeting, which was chaired by acting president Yemi Oshibanjo, lasted three hours, after which president advised to the president on media, Mr. Femi Adeshino, led three ministers to address the press. Agriculture Minister Chief Audu Ogwe says council endorsed the massive exportation of yams to the U.S. and the United Kingdom. I don't think the farmers are fools. They sell at a very good price, I assure you. They sell and make profit. But whatever it is, by the time it lands in the UK, the profit margin for the exporter, if there are no delays, is quite handsome. I was in Dakar just two weeks ago, and Nigerians were telling me that they need yams from Nigeria as well. Uh, so, but that we probably can move by trucks from uh, through Kano, turning left, heading for Mali, and so on. When asked if the exportation would not lead to shortage of yams at home, his response was plain. He said the government is determined to see all Nigerian grown crops exported to where they will yield sufficient income for farmers. They are the producers, the exporters are the buyers. It's simple. Right now is a, a small scale farmer who's growing the yams. Right? Maybe someday when we mechanize the big timers will come in. On one football field you can plant 10,000 yams, make 10,000 heaps, allowing for rows in between. Someday Dangote may arrive and do uh, 200,000 hectares. We don't know it. This is yam. We are looking at cashew. I mean, uh, industrial starch for the textile industry and for export to China. And the Indians are asking us for pulses, all categories of beans. The market in India is $100 billion. Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Obunaya Onu, says council approved the Science, Technology and Innovation Roadmap. This, he explained, would help the nation advance technologically in the future. What happened in the past is that we did a lot of research, even though in the past uh, <laughs> science and tech was not really um, given that uh, level of support that we should, uh, we should have. We are not yet there, uh, but you know, most of the research findings ended up you know, uh, in the uh, shelves of uh, uh, maybe libraries, some in the laboratories, yes. But we are saying, no, you know, if you want to use uh, research and innovation, for example, to create wealth, to create jobs. Minister of Health, Professor Isaac Adewale, says council approved a memo including youth core members in the National Health Insurance Scheme. We are not where we ought to be with respect to the NHIS, and that's because it is voluntary. Uh, a voluntary scheme anywhere in the world is not likely to succeed as much as we, we would love to have it. And so this scheme for NYC is not compost. It's mandatory for all NYC, and government will pay the premium. What we have now with NHIS is that only government employed people, and very few in the private sector, are enrolled into the scheme. The head minister said council was officially briefed of Nigerians' triumph over the deadly meningitis which claimed thousands of lives in northern Nigeria. Council's approval for the inclusion of core members in the National Health Insurance Scheme, our project, is no doubt a commendable one. But with the scheme currently underperforming and being probed by the Senate, many may just be doubting if it will yield the expected result in the lives of the core members. From the Asorok Presidential Villa, I'm Ikharo Atta, ITV News, Abuja.